This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Edge don't want you to hear them. To my surprise, I continue to be kind of impressed <clears throat> with some of the stuff that the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire is doing. The latest uh, coolness, or at least activity, is uh, something that Aaron Day is doing. He's uh, one of two Libertarian candidates for governor, and he's he's taken out like a, a roving billboard, I guess. I saw a picture of it, and it looks like some sort of, like a truck with a giant sort of, I think, luminescent billboard type thing. And I guess he's going to wander the state or have somebody wander the state in the thing with pro-freedom messages on it. It's almost like kind of a role reversal from the days back when all the, li all the really useful liberty activism in New Hampshire was outside the Libertarian Party. But you've seen how, I guess, Daryl Perry got involved for a while, and Roger Paxton, and suddenly you see, you know, I think they're both free staters, and you see suddenly they've got a, you know, like, a, like this what sounds like a pro-secession plank in their platform, and they're actually libertarian. Uh, you know, and, 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 while the National Libertarian Party is more like a bunch of conservatives, you have the Libertarian Party running a, a booth, at the baseball games in Manchester, or, or Skybox or something, renting it, I don't know. And you got Gillette Jarvis, you know, at least a year ago, being really pretty active in uh, a campaign for governor, you know, long before campaign season, and now she's having, she's been having rallies and stuff about issues. I've, I've always been really pretty much a skeptic of the Libertarian Party and just thought that it wasn't worth paying any attention to and also I was you know worried what what, what happens if you, you know you have libertarian votes you know taken away from the most liberty oriented Republican or the most liberty oriented Democrat the most libertarian oriented person of you know the two major parties running but uh, you know my mind is being continually opened by activity, and activity really is the key to almost everything. It doesn't have to be great activity, just be, be doing something. Even if it's not getting everybody talking, at least it's something I can talk about. You know, and, and recently it seems as though the LP has actually almost been outperforming to some extent the other liberty activists outside the Libertarian Party in New Hampshire. Because we're sort of, other than them, it seems like we're having some degree of lull. I mean, there, there are a lot of uh, free staters and liberty activists running for office as Republicans and Democrats. Uh, but it seems like there just hasn't been that much activity lately, except for these uh, Libertarian Party guys and other people running for office. Anyway, thanks for doing something, guys. Don't fret if it's not perfect or you don't get the kind of results you want. At least you're doing something. No, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Edge don't want you to hear them.